Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about the new stock. We saw it crash, um, and that was not because of Roaring Kitty. Um, they just do what they do in the stock market. You know, they can manipulate any stock. They can make it go down at will by doing naked shorting. The other thing is they halted GME at least seven times during his live event, Roaring Kitty. And who's Roaring Kitty? He's the leader, and I'm calling him the leader of the retail shareholders, okay? They made the movie about him. So they halted it, and I went in just for fun to try to buy one share when it was um, doing, when they were doing the live, and I did a market buy, which means it should, it should finalize instantly. It's not a limit order and it got put into a queue and it did not get finalized. So they were playing games, they didn't want any buy orders. Imagine like what would happen to a price of a stock if no buy orders went through, zero, none, and they put through $100 million of naked shorting hedge fund money. What would happen to the price? And that's exactly what happened. It collapsed. So we're gonna see what happens, but I know GME retail investors didn't go anywhere. And I'm gonna post a video clip for you of Roaring Kitty during his live stream that I recorded where he's gonna show you actual video proof of his holdings to where the videos I've been telling you where he said that he owns all these shares and all these calls and everything, he posts the live video of it. Okay, you're gonna see it. Very cool guy. All right, I'm gonna play that for you now and I'll have some comments at the end. Here we go. Don't try to don't try to do it. All right, let me bring it over here. I think it's I think it's fine if I bring this over. Let me check. Let me refresh. Oh, we got it. All right, I'm gonna bring it over. Don't hold it, don't hold it. There you go. All right, there you go. Is it on the chat there? There you go. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We got it up there. So those yeah, those are my only positions, you know. As you know about me, I'll take. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, a true YOLO again, I suppose. Depending on, I know, I know there's some cash there. That's what I mean. It depends on your positions, but uh, it's, <laughs> uh, it's another YOLO again. You know what I'm saying? It's how I roll. So that's that's that there. But I seen those headlines. E trade. E trade. I see those headlines. I gotta check, I'm checking in every day. I'll log in, I'm like, are my positions still there? Are they still there? Let me check, they're still there. Wait, they're still there, okay, they're still there. I actually, I wasn't even like paying attention to the details. They're still there. But I'm, each morning, I'm like, I, I don't know what's happening. So I go, all right, well, don't make me, don't make me, but E-Trade, I'll do this with HTML. I'll do that, <laughs> don't make me, don't make me remove it. I know how to do that. I'm just kidding. No, I'm going to put it back. We're good. We're good. Those, we're, those positions are there. Those positions are there. But I, I'll do it. I'll remove it. Don't make me. <laughs> don't don't make me do it. Don't make me. I'll, do, I'll delete that from the HTML. I will. All right. Mr. Robot Hacker here. You know, I learned a thing or two, and I know how to delete that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but... I can, I can. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm just messing, people. Okay, it's still. I put it back. I put it back. I put it back. No, but see, I see those headlines too. Y'all see them. I see them. We're like, what the hell? I'll mean, <laughs> I be mean, waking it up. You know that meme too, where the guy wakes up and it, it's it's like all green. He's like, oh, he's squinting. He's squinting. <laughs> He's like, oh, he's waking up looking. I feel like that's me in the morning. Some days I'm waking up and I'm squinting. I'm seeing the stuff. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did I do, man? So that's where we're at right now. Oh, did it go down? Oh, is it halted again? Oh, it's halted. Well, that's where it was, right where that's where it, at the halt. See, I I wait until the halt because if um if if it's halted, it doesn't show the stuff. So it needs to be unhalted. I don't know why it does that. It just is. And so yeah, there you go, there you go. That's where it is for now. That could go down. It's going down. It's going down. In general, educational advice here. In general, not not specific to games. But remember, with all investments, okay, especially ones I'm involved in because they're inherently very risky, they go up, they go down. You can't explain that. They go up, they go down. You can't explain that. No, but you should be aware of the risks going into any position. But again, especially ones I deal in because they tend to be extremely volatile. I like to think that uh, I have a good sense of, uh, of of my thesis, but I get stuff wrong. I have historically. I will again in the future. Could be. Uh, I mean, I. It's just. It's. It's always important for you to to understand that, and I. I have to understand that too. And so. Um, but 
it's, I get a feeling. If I have this feeling, uh, I act on it. And that's, I, I mean, I make that joke in one of my YouTube videos. It's based on feel, but it's like a confluence of factors. And the easiest way to just describe it is it's this feel that I have. And at the foundation, in this case, of my feel, my feeling, right, at the foundation of it is kind of that long-term outlook that um, this type of company has the prospects um, that it could it could work out well over the long term. And in the short term, we'll see. We'll see. But in the long term, like that's like the foundation of it. So it's like a collection of things. And uh, but always, always risks, always risks. But honestly, I mean, you think it's a joke. It's a, I guess it's a little bit of a joke because that's based on feet. Whoa, let's see. Where, where's my. Amazing stuff from Roaring Kitty, isn't it, guys? We found out that he owns 5 million shares at about $21 per share average cost. And he has, I forgot what it was already, 100,000, maybe it was 150,000 share calls to buy at $20 a share, at least 100,000. And he owns 5 million shares. How crazy is that, guys? So they have to fill his calls at $20 a share. And he's going to have over 100,000 shares that they have to provide to him at that price at $20 a share. So the short sellers are gonna lose money. That's why they're risking everything to try to push this down, even doing illegal things to try to push this down. Because how are they gonna buy those shares and give them to him when they're at $70 a share? They're doing their best to get it down to 21 or below. Um, so this next upcoming week's gonna be real wild. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, add notifications, share the video with a friend. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. What do you think about it all? I'd love to read your comments. But also, there's so much information I posted on there. You can see uh, the value of his stock right now is like $300 million, even with it going way, way, way down. And yesterday, just yesterday, in a, he lost like $250 million. Lost $250 million yesterday. Um, these aren't exact numbers. These are just rough, rough ballpark figures, all right? But you can see he posted from E-Trade his account proof of how many shares he owns and how many calls that he bought. Take a look at the video. Make sure you share this video with a friend. This is the best video on GME you're ever probably going to see. Um, make sure you text it your friend, friends and family because it's got the proof of his ownership. And I break it down for you and I explain it all to you. If, if you want, subscribe to my channel, add notifications, hit like on this video. It's pretty amazing stuff. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.